Hello everybody, and this is Carmen from EC Language. Welcome to the fourth video of my introduction to Mandarin series. Now you should know how to pronounce the sounds of pinyin. Now, let's learn how to apply the tones. So as I've mentioned before, there are four tones in Mandarin, or if you count the neutral tone, you got five. So these tones are represented by diacritics, which are little symbols like accents you'll find on top of the vowels. So here the first tone is represented with a straight line above the vowel, so it will look like this. So here are some examples of some words with this first tone. So we've got ma, ge, ji, wo, du. If you look at this diagram down here, this shows you how the first tone is pronounced. The second tone is represented with an acute accent above vowels, so like this. So here are some more examples. Ma, ge, ji, po, zu. Again, refer to this diagram to keep track of how I produce the tones. Now the third tone is represented with a reverse circumflex, like this. So examples we have here are ma, ge, Zi, wo, du. Finally, last but not least, here is the fourth tone, represented with a grave accent or a grave accent, like this. The examples are ma, ge, ji, po, lu. Now let's get more practical with an example. Now here I have a sentence and the opinion is below. Let me read this to you. Ni hao. 我很高兴认识你。我的名字是安娜。我是一个医生。Now here's my diagram close, and I've color coded and labeled each tone and how they're pronounced. Now let's analyze the four tones in the sentence together first. First of all, we have 你. This is the pronoun you, so it's nice and simple, and it is in the third tone. Notice the shape of the tone. The next four words, 好, 我, and 很 are all also in the third tone. Next we have is gao. This means high or tall, but it can mean different things when used with other words, so be careful of context. And this is in the first tone. The tone is high and it's flat. So sorry it looks a bit slanted here. Um, there's a little like technical problem with PowerPoint where I can't seem to make the, the, like, the arrow line parallel to the diacritic, but regardless, it should be straight and flat. And uh, next here is the word rin. This means to get to know or to recognize when used by itself. And this is in the fourth tone. As you can see, it's a high falling tone. Finally, we have ming, which means name, and is in the second tone. It is a low rising tone, as you can see. Now let's practice the whole sentence together. I'm going to read each line twice. Um, at about kind of normal speed, and then I want you to repeat after me after each time. So feel free to pause or rewind if needed, and I'll be analysing each word in the next slides, so if you're not getting it just yet, don't worry about it. So here we go. 你好 你好 我很高兴认识你 我很高兴认识你 我的名字是安娜。我的名字是安娜。我是一个医生。我是一个医生。Okay? Now let's do this slowly word by word. So first we have 你. So this is pronounced like this. 你. Again. 你. So notice how my tone drops from about just slightly, just slightly after, sorry, just slightly below medium pitch, and then rises to just slightly above medium pitch. Next we have how, how, how. As you can see, these are both in the third tone. So ni how used together means hello. So now let's try the next few words. 我我 Now 我 means I or me. 
很很很 He means very. 高高兴兴 Now, 高兴 used together means pleased or happy. 认认是是。And notice here, sh doesn't have a tone. It's not accidental, but basically, when there is no tone, we call that the neutral tone, as I've mentioned before. And with the neutral tone, basically, when you pronounce it, our voice doesn't change in pitch. Okay, so it's just a flat and neutral tone. You can think of it as a flat medium pitch if you want. Okay, so 认识 again, these two words used together means to get to know. 你 Ni again, we have the same ni as we you saw before.、Uh, sorry, as we have seen before, and it means you. Okay. 我我的 Again, this is a neutral tone, so it doesn't have any tones. So it's a common particle in Mandarin. So I'll explain these particles in more detail in a future lesson. But in this case, this is a possessive particle. Okay, so the、uh, has different functions, but this the in this context means、uh, so it's a possessive particle. Um, yeah. So if you add this at the end of any nouns, okay, or even pronoun, you turn it into possession. So it's kind of equivalent to like apostrophe s in English. So wo plus the means my. Okay, something belonging to me, my. Ming. Ming. Zi. Zi. Again, neutral tone. There is no change in pitch. Ming zi together means name. Shi. 是 now 是 is often considered to mean yes, or it is the Chinese equivalent to the English verb to be. Okay. An. An. Na. Na. Now an na literally is the name Anna, but sanitized. So it's Chinese version of the word name Anna. 我是 so 我是 the 我 again means I. 是 means to be. In this case, put together means I am. 一一个个 Again, no tone, so it's just a natural flat medium sound or flat neutral sound that you can produce. So this "ge" is a measure word or a classifier, basically the general classifier that we use if we don't know、um, which correct classifier we use for a certain object or thing. So "yi ge" together means something like "a" or "an." Okay, so "yi ge." So、again, I'll explain these particles classifiers in another lesson. Yi, yi, sheng, sheng. Now here you can see there is so there are two yi sounds. Don't confuse them. They may have the same sound and the same tone. They are written differently, so they actually have different meanings as well. So in Chinese language, you'll find this in a lot of cases, where there are two words that have the same sound, same tone, but written differently, and therefore has different meanings. Or even there are cases where it's the same character written the same way, but used with other like combinations with other words, it has a different meaning. Okay, so think of it like a homograph. So homograph or a homophone in English. Okay, now let's try this all together again, and I'll read it line by line, but this time a bit faster. 
Repeat after me and feel free to pause and rewind as needed. Ni hao. Ni hao. Wo hen gao xin ren shi ni. Wo hen gao xin ren shi ni. Wo de ming zi shi anna. Wo de ming zi shi anna. Wo shi yi ge yi sheng. So basically what this means is 你好, which means hello. 我很高兴认识你. So 我很 very 高兴, please 认识, to get to know 你, you. So basically very pleased to meet you. Uh, and then you got 我的名字是Anna. So 我, I, the possessive article. 我的 means my. 名字, name. She is Anna. Anna. So my name is Anna. And then last line. 我是一个医生. I am a doctor. 我, I, she, am. 一个, a, 医生, doctor. Okay. Alright, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more lesson videos. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye!